What do we know about how much the government is already spending on drugs such as these? So there's three different ways that the government and thereby taxpayers are actually paying for these drugs so far. One, there's Medicare that's mainly uh, a funded through payroll taxes. This is mainly for people who are older. Then there is Medicaid, and this is the health insurance program that goes to low-income people, some 85 million of them across America. And then finally, there's state and there's state health plans. So your teachers, your police force, et cetera. Uh, we really dove into the latter two, specifically Medicaid, um, because the costs there are reported, they're public, and they're enormous. They're now $7.9 billion in 2022. That's more than double the $3.3 billion in 2020. Uh, this is, of course, pre-rebate money, but it's already 8.5% of all the spend that Medicaid does on prescriptions. So in some ways, there's a sort of short-term pain, long-term gain idea here, though, and I guess that's what the drug companies will be talking about. The, the short-term pain is the financial cost. The long-term gain is a less obese America that potentially is a healthy America, and therefore, actually, the longer-term costs are lower. Does that argument hold water? Does that argument cut through this initial cost impact that we're likely to see being represented? It's extraordinarily hard to tell, uh, but the Congressional Budget Office says the rough arithmetic indicates likely not. The, the cost of these drugs is so enormous, $1,000 a month on a pre rebate basis, that you just kind of never make that up. And they don't have enough data supporting the idea that medical costs will actually go down uh, on the downside. That said, though, if you can pre prevent enormous amounts of the population from getting heart attacks, from getting strokes, from ultimately developing diabetes, uh, which is what these drugs could do for the portion that is not type 2 diabetics that is receiving these drugs, you know, that's enormous. What are your uh, lost causes, uh, costs of, you know, people who spend their entire days in dialysis? Mm. I think those things are very hard to kind of calculate. And at the moment, we just don't know. The drug companies say yes, um, but the data aren't there yet. Yeah, and I would imagine that we're going to see a lot more studies along those lines. But just quickly, how are states and uh, the federal government dealing with these enormous costs at the moment? So some officials in the federal government have actually introduced bills for Medicare saying that uh, people on Medicare should be able to receive these, not just for type 2 diabetes, which they're largely approved, but also for uh, weight loss. States, however, some of whom already offer these and cover this for weight loss, um, are grappling with enormous costs, and some are Make, having to make tough decisions, North Carolina, for example, saying people who were on it before January 1st can continue taking it for weight loss, but now people have to pay for it themselves uh, or not get, not get it at all.